What's going on guys? We got Diane, Isabella, Marshall. We're going to demo the Hair Traction Splint. Um, this rarely used piece of equipment um, is going to be used for typically a closed mid-shaft femur fracture. So to you guys, what does closed mean to you guys? You don't see any of the bone like penetrating through the skin, so you don't see any of the bone that had gone through the skin. So no, no break in the skin. So that's traditional. Um, but I, I want you to clarify that if by holding traction from an open fracture that neurological deficits improve, pulse motor sensation returns, then continue on using this hair traction device. And what does mid shaft uh, mean to you guys? Right here in the middle of the femur. Right, and you're already pointing to the femur, right? So this is typically a closed mid shaft femur fracture. Um, and so the first thing we would do, typically the injury, um, the injured leg is shortened and then slightly rotated. Um, ABCs first, and then you have Diane and Marshall as our EMTs. Diane's gonna come in and assess for pulse motor sensation. So pedal pulse, is it present? It is, how do you test for motor? So I'm gonna ask her, can you press down on my Can leg? you do it, Isabella? No, I can't. She can't do it. How can do we press? test for sensation? Can you also press up on my leg? No. She can't do that. Can you close your eyes? Can you feel what I'm doing? It's pinching my toes. Uh -huh. Okay, so sensation is intact. Um, Diane is gonna start holding what's called manual traction. And so by manual traction, if Marshall, can you demo like with your both hands, like what, what the femurs look like when they're stacked on top of each other? Yeah, they're so, gonna look like. Yeah, so like inside the leg, they could look like like that, just like right on top of each other. Exactly. And so that's why the leg could be could be shortened. And so what are we doing? What's what's happening as Diane's pulling traction? She's pretty much pulling the femurs back. Right, that, we're trying to reset the femur and that's that's ultimately the goal, guys. Um, and we wanna pull hard enough to where Isabella, you know, the pain can subside and improve. Um, and at that point, Marshall's going to apply what's called an ankle hitch. And this this looks like a contraption to begin with and go ahead and apply apply the ankle hitch. So you're gonna put it on uh, to this To this one. Oh, that one? Okay. So you're gonna put it over. So what's the, the, what's this ring called on the bottom? Um, it's called the D-ring. Called the D-ring. Because it looks like a D. Okay. okay. All right, and Diane's holding the D-ring. Mm -hmm. And after that's applied, Diane, you can just hold manual traction from the D-ring. This D-ring is eventually going to um, hook on to that winch, and there's an S-hook um, on that winch over there. Okay, we'll use that in a second. So right now, Marshall's going to take the hair traction and take it to the unaffected leg, and we're going to measure the length that we need of this hair traction splint. So there's a cushion part at the back. We're going to apply that directly next to Isabella's bottom. And then we're, we want to extend this part out about six inches away from the foot. And to do so, Marshall oh, so. is going to manipulate these blue knobs. And as long as they're loose, we can pull on this device and extend it out. And we want it about six inches away from the foot. After it's about six inches, Marshall's going to retighten those screws. Great. And you're going to bring it back to the affected leg, the injured leg. Careful not to knock anyone in the head. Okay, and the first strap, we're gonna have Isabella kind of lean to her left side, and then we're gonna have, um, have her go and kind of sit on the hair traction splint. You can lift this up and rotate, very good. The first strap we're going to apply is called the ischial strap. Maybe Isabella can help you apply this ischial strap yeah. because there's going to be um, something that you feed it through on this side. So you're gonna go over the leg, and then she's gonna feed it through this side. Here. No, so there's gonna be a little little hook. Uh, if you sit higher, I'll even bring it up for you. So right there, this this right here, you're gonna feed it through this and then come back around and then it's gonna strap onto the Velcro. Yep, that's the first strap. And then Marshall, go ahead and take the winch. And I want you to, to kind of talk through how to undo it. So if you try to like just twist it, yeah, that's not gonna twist. What you wanna do is pull it out. Pull it out. And then you can loosen it up. Right, it only twists okay. one way typically, yeah. okay? So we so. want to give some slack to this mm -hmm. S-hook. 
there. After you think you have enough slack, you're going to slide it onto the end of the hair traction splint. I like how Diane's continuing to hold manual traction. Good, and then apply the S-hook to the D-ring. And then go ahead and tighten the winch until that amount of force met, like meets the amount of traction that Diane's been holding this entire time. Mm -hmm. So after that's applied, now we can apply the four elastic bands. So there's gonna be two elastic bands above the knee, two below the knee. None of these bands should be going directly on top of the injury. And then one's gonna go right on top of the ischial strap as well. So maybe maybe this is above the ischial strap. Yeah. So if you want to move it on. Making Isabella work for it, huh? <laughs> Alright, that's good. And then this is gonna be above the knee as well. Good. I like the teamwork. Okay, and what's the last thing that we do? I want to check the PMS again. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna check for the pulse first, the pedal pulse. It's present. And then I'm gonna check, can you push down against my... Kind of, okay. Can you push up against my fingers? Okay, a little. Can you close your eyes for me? Can you feel what I'm doing? You're pinching my toes. Okay, so her PMS seems to be present. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, uh, anything to add? No? Okay, awesome job. We'll see you in the next video.